um, almost forgotten movie. It was a um, independent project that he was able to um, um, get going in the early 70s, just through the initiative of, of a few people. Um, the producer, Michael Laughlin, the cinematographer, William Fraker. Um, anyway, he just wanted to, uh, he wanted to make a movie about a few people he met who were uh, uh, heroin addicts or recovering heroin addicts. And um, he spent a lot of time recording interviews with them. And then he, over, during the summer of 1970, he uh, filmed them. Uh, Kind of um, some of it is interviews, uh, but a lot of them is just sort of um, uh, recreated scenes of their lives. But they have this very strong documentary quality, and um, um, so everyone in the film is kind of um, playing themselves. It's in a way, it's kind of like what what um, um, Pedro Costa has been doing more recently, you know. With, uh, uh, the people in his films. They're sort of, they're kind of documentaries, but um, they're also fictions. Because the, the people are themselves, but they're not, he's not recorded, he's not, it's not, it's not a matter of observing them, but it's a matter of working with them to create scenes that authentically recreate things that happen in their lives. I think probably some of you are aware of Pedro Costa's work, right? Um, so he was kind of doing the same thing in, in 1970. Um, also, um, in addition to the, to the addicts, he includes, he includes a, a few characters who were actors. Well, one, one of the things that happened was that, that um, Somehow they, they secured the Dusty and Sweets McGee was actually purchased in 1971 by a major film studio, Warner Brothers. Um, you know, it was picked up and released. Although, as it turned out, it was released only in uh, three cities, and uh, it did turn out to be a big commercial flop. Um, it wasn't hurt by the fact that that. Um, Many people saw it as, as glorifying drug use. Although I don't think it does. I mean, it just, I think, treats it honestly. Um, and it didn't help that it, it was released um, actually the same day in New York as a movie called Panic in Needle Park, which was a fictionalized story of, of uh, heroin addicts in New York starring Al Pacino in his first role in uh, Katie Wynn. Um, so there was this kind of war between uh, uh, East Coast Junkie Movie and the West Coast Junkie Movie, uh, where the, the New York critics attack Dusty and Sweets McGee, and sometimes praise Panic in Needle Park. Um, 